More Life with Jody Dean. I wanted to start a club. I wanted to be a part of something. Well, let's back up a bit. For Tylen, this all started with a family visit to Portland, Oregon. A woman came up to us and she was homeless and she was like, please, can you give me money? I need to buy sanitary wipes. They don't have access to the products that they need. Tylen's a student at the Dallas ISD School for the Talented and Gifted at the Yule Townview Center. Her friendships, the teachers, I mean, it's an amazing school. And meeting a school project. It's such a big issue and nobody talks about it. Nobody thinks about it. Nobody thinks about it. Tylen applied to start her school's own chapter of a global group dedicated to providing access to what many take for granted. I absolutely freaked out. And here we are. Enter friend Aaron. When I heard about Tylen's idea to start a club, I was like, I have to do this. Motivated by what she'd seen at her previous school. So many girls there were really struggling. I didn't realize my privilege until then. Needing a fundraiser, they turned to a consultant. I said, well, you know, the holidays are coming up and jars with cool things in them might be a good idea. We could get the jars maybe for free. Some of the neighbors might help some. Blown away. Everyone wants to pitch in and wants to help. And that wasn't something I was expecting. Sales will help buy sanitary products for students whose families can't afford them, forcing some girls to stay home rather than risk embarrassment. I can definitely see how people would have to skip school, but especially if they didn't have the products they needed. Of course, even in almost 2021, it's a subject some find uncomfortable. I have very grandparenty grandparents. And even they were like, oh, yes, this is awesome. Built-in best friend means a sister or someone who is that close. This is something that's so easily fixable. Someone Tylen and Aaron think we can all be, even for people we may never meet. They can put themselves in other people's shoes, and I love that about them. By the way, Aaron's mom says they have all the jars they need to keep them busy now through December. But if you'd like to buy a decoration for $5, 10 or $15, go to the girl's Instagram page. If you know of a story of good people doing great things for others, send me an email to morelife at ktvt.com. I'm Jody Dean.